Maxi CNC router, full size, uh, four foot by five foot. So today we're going to be finishing these mounting plates uh, and mounting these high output NEMA 24s. Okay, so what I decided to do, I, I was originally going to do, uh, you know, sort of a nice CNC bit of bracketry here, but, uh, you know, something in my head said, keep it simple, stupid. <laughs> so, um, okay, simple and effective. So there's, there's my mounting plate for the stepper motor. So what I'm going to do is I've got some... M6s, extend, long, quite long ones actually, they're 50 millimeter. But I only need this stood off here, uh, about 30 millimeters. So what I'm going to do is just one, two, three, four holes, and you know, sort of uh, through, through, screw in, uh, have backed up then by a nut so I can tighten the nut down onto that surface which locks this bolt up, then two nuts, okay, one either side of this, one either side of this, all right, so I can adjust this like a swash plate, okay, and get it absolutely square and level and the right distance away, and really that's all it needs because it's under a, it's under a, like a tor torsion, Talk, not anything else. And these bolts, when they're locked up on there, you know, these are high tensile bolts and uh, absolutely more than bad enough to do the job. And it's a, a very simple method that I have used uh, in the past for other similar devices and it works rather well. So that's what we're going to do for here. So Better get on with it. <laughs> and you'll see I've drilled this at um, five millimeter, which is the tapping size for six millimeter because I'm going to offer this up as a template onto the main bracket over there to um, mark where the hole's going to be. Okay, now I can drill it. So that's how to get precise drillings lined up. You know, use it one part for a template to drill another part. But bear in mind if you want to do something like that, um, I have drilled these holes the tapping size of a six millimeter. So I still have to re-drill these out larger.
Okay, um, I might have mentioned to you that um, this is the flexible coupling for the axis drive from the stepper motor. This uh, side is correct, 10 millimeter. But that side is six millimeter. So we've got to bore this out or drill it out. Now the way I uh, the way I've perfected to do this without uh, having this go out of round is leave these screws in there and just barely nip them up. Um, so it doesn't actually collapse this down but keeps it round and then when you put it in your your three jaw chuck is get this area here put the chuck one of the chuck uh, jaws on that area there like so and then just squeeze it down firmly not enough to collapse it down or anything like that and uh, it should go something like this take this up Should be a nice clean drilling like that. So, I'm really pleased with that job. All the stepper motors are on now and um, as of I think tomorrow I will be, well doing all the electrics. 
you could technically say that I have actually started but <laughs> yeah running all the cables all the uh, all the cable chain hang on I'll, I'll just grab one so yeah this came in the post the other day I'm not sure whether I've already showed it on this video or not but uh, a really really decent industrial cable chain so there's going to be two on this machine one on the back of the gantry here and one over on the right hand side um, and a big electrical power box control box on the front on this side here which I'm going to pick up tomorrow so I hope you're enjoying this um, series of videos on the Maxi CNC router build of which I'm designing and building as you know as we go um, and there are some plans and all of the parts information that I actually purchased like ball screws, uh, stepper motors and uh, spindle and things like all things like that power supplies they're already on Patreon. Um, rest of the drawings will be up, I think, the beginning of next month because I like to run it first, make sure there's no mechanical problems. Well, there isn't, but uh, I like to be sure before I actually put stuff in writing, any drawings and measurements uh, before you start building them. Um, so you don't have any problems. But uh, everything is looking good to run this possibly, possibly to the end of this month. And uh, I'm rather looking forward to that. So if you're enjoying this series of videos and particularly this one, you could always like and subscribe to this video and the channel. That would be a really good thing to do. And if you really uh, like what I'm doing and you would like to support the channel, uh, the information for my patron pages is below the video in the video description area where you will also find a 20% discount for Fusion 360 if you have to pay for it uh, because the free one, hobby one, is fairly limited um, and there's also a 5% discount code for all of the CAVCO products okay the three CAVCO programs that's Maker, Maker Plus and CAVCO the main program and it, you know it doesn't matter whether you're a hobbyist or you're a large company you still get that 5% off but you've got to use the code, obviously, <laughs> that's linked to uh, my, my channel. So, um, okay. Thank you for watching. And it's bye for now.